Skinny Spazoid. Hey guys, Skinny Spazoid here. Uh, right now I want to get into some uh, tweets right here, some funny tweets, because I heard I heard some of you guys are pretty dumb on Twitter. You know, I heard it. I heard it through a birdie. I heard it. Uh, I heard it through the grapevine. So let's go check it out. Uh, first one we have here is a. Uh, Michael Hale uh, says some guy using his laptop on the train like a dumbass nerd lol. All right, so uh, that's actually uh, it's Neil deGrasse. That's that's my boy. <laughs> it's so God, it's <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. You know that's uh that's my boy. Uh, it's my boy, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you know, <laughs> world famous scientist, uh, yeah, I don't know, actually, I, I'm gonna, I'm kinda on his side here, like, you know, putting a laptop, it's kinda hard, you know, if you've ever been on the train, or at least he's like on the subway or something, you'd be like shaking, laptop might fall, that's, that's physics, guys, it's physics, by the way, this guy, uh, who made the tweet, Michael Hale, his, his, he put under it, uh, <laughs> at dog boner. Um, <laughs> okay. It's just a fun little thing, alright. Alright, next one, uh, this is from Beezus at Bugatti Bees. Um, <laughs> so he says, uh, my mom's birthday is in September, and my birthday is in June. That's nine months apart. Let me find out I was birthday sex and some kind of disappointed face. Well, Beezus, you know, I hate to break it to you, but, uh, that's, that is how it works, you know, that's how it, you know, you have two people, when they want a baby, they, uh, they, uh, they have sex. You know something, Beezus, uh, you should be proud that, uh, your, your mom had, a uh, birthday sex. It's a good thing, you know, you should be happy that you were, uh, conceived in a moment of joy. Like, what do you want your mom to tell you? Like, oh, yeah, that was the night, you know, that was the night, that was the night my, your dad just, just wanted to go in, but I wasn't really comfortable, so I just let him. Like, do you want do you want her to say something like that? You know, it's it's a good thing. You should be happy. You should be proud of your history. All right, so so this guy wrote this guy Kaz uh, wrote, I was listening to Drake in the shower, and after I was done, I realized I never turned on the shower, and the water was just my tears. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, so this one comes from uh, hashtag indoctrination at fu black music. Challenging black feminist outlook does not make you a misogynist. <laughs> A misogynist <laughs> with an exclamation point. Ideas should bring us together, not set us apart. Hashtag you okay, sis. <laughs> I kind of want to read it like. The way he spelt it, like with the exclamation mark, so it's like, challenging black feminist outlook does not make you a misogynist. Ideas should bring us together and not set us apart. You okay, sis? <laughs> okay, so, uh, breadwinner at stuck in my ways says, I'ma give bitches a minute to shine. Um, <laughs> what the? A semicolon and not a comma, alright. It's her style, I guess. And then I tell him good riddance. 
<laughs> spell like if you're gonna write it <laughs> good riddance <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good one. Uh, so this one comes from Alika Cray, who I I really like her her face. I guess it kind of it looks funny to me. Um, like a big dumb smiley face. Like <laughs> she says, uh, at a Kelsey Swift. Can't forget that, right? All right, and she says, uh, "It's so weird how the majority of pet of files <laughs> turn out to be teachers." <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like this one's kind of fake, but it's still, you know, it's funny because it's like pet of files and it's pedophiles. She had to. It feels like it was planned. <laughs> This one comes from uh, Artisha Lee Anderson, who wrote, uh, I so embriest, <laughs> with an exclamation point, so it's like, I'm so embriest! <laughs> Mia Bear was fucking, and I felt the runs coming, and it came out so fast, I shit on his dick, he mad at me now. <laughs> I so embraced, V and Bay was fucking, and I felt the runs coming, and it came out so fast that I shit on his dick, he mad. <laughs> so what she's trying to say, <laughs> is that her boyfriend was having sex with her. <laughs> and she felt like she needed to, uh, you know, excrete out of her <laughs> butt <laughs> and it it just all came out so fast that she couldn't stop it is what she's trying to say why is it why <laughs> why is it always these people on twitter that i'm getting is all these um looks like these black women who have kind of strange names and they, they're not very good at spelling, but, um, <laughs> part of me is like, I don't know, I feel like there are other people not good at spelling, but they don't have Twitter. <laughs> so this one comes from, uh, Giovanni at A Showtime, and he says, uh, I thank God for my mature demeanor. Childish people are very embarrassing. <laughs> Like Demeter, like the, like the Greek god of, of harvest, not demeanor. Actually, demeanor means, uh, it means like, uh, when you, your outward attitude. So I guess it's, he has kind of a, maybe a bit of a childish attitude. It's a little bit ironic. Um, <laughs> I like this one, it says, uh, if I can't have an intellectual conversation with the girl, then she's clearly not the one from at uh, Southside Vic. <laughs> like intellectual. Okay. Skinny spazoid.